When it comes to choosing a Linux distribution for your new operating system, Linux Mint is usually one of the most common ones to be recommended to you. But despite being incredibly easy to install and use, it can be quite powerful if you go a bit deeper into its desktop environment Cinnamon and the distribution itself. In today's video, I'm going to show you 7 awesome features of Linux Mint and Cinnamon which you may not know about to improve its already great experience even further. And let's get straight into it. The first feature I want to show you is Hot Corners, which allows you to execute an action whenever you move your mouse into one of the four corners of your display. You can find this functionality in the system settings, whereas you can for once set which corners you want to be active and what they should do. One of my favorite actions to set here is Show All Workspaces, which gives you an overview of several open individual desktops. It's an, in my opinion, better approach to virtual desktops than Windows does it, and it behaves similarly like on the desktop environments GNOME and KDE Plasma. By scrolling with your mouse, you can quickly switch between them, or if you are inside a desktop, also use the Ctrl, Alt and Arrow keys on your keyboard. You can, by the way, also adjust the workspace behavior in its own category, so that it fits your own needs. An incredibly powerful feature, especially on single monitor setups. My second favorite option is of course to set up a custom command to launch programs or trigger certain actions. By simply looking up the name of an application via its about page, which most programs should have in one way or another, we can simply start it by entering its name in lowercase. Some apps do of course need some special treatment, depending on how they are installed. But once everything is set up, you can make Cinnamon and Linux Mint way more efficient by using this functionality. My second tip to improve efficiency is to enable your mouse being able to automatically focus windows as soon as you move the cursor over them. You can enable this setting inside Windows, Behavior and by choosing Hover as the Windows Focus Mode. Instead of having to first click into a window to press a button, this is now being done automatically for you. If you want to go even further, then you can also enable automatically raise focused windows, which automatically pulls the hovered over window up to the top. Not everyone likes this feature, but it's a great addition once you get used to it. One feature that is often overlooked when using Linux Mint is the ability to customize the login screen. And I'm not just talking about the basic stuff like changing the alignment of the elements, but also the ability to set up a preferred display, different wallpapers for each screen or adding something like a company logo. What's that for though? Well did you know that you can enable a login method for guests? A guest login will create a temporary guest account environment, which could be useful for some sort of kiosk device that should just function like a regular but safe PC. If your PC has a touch screen, then you can also adjust its accessibility on the login screen in the settings tab and also all the other functionalities like the clock format, if the quit button is available so that users cannot shut down the PC and much more. When it comes to customizing, another feature of Cinnamon is that you can change the actions menu. You know, the menu that appears when you right click on your desktop for example. In the settings under actions, you can enable and disable entries from the menu, adjust their order in the layout tab, but also add completely new entries from a rather small but still great library of community made options. Some of them, like taking a screenshot, can be quite handy, especially when you're setting up Linux Mint for someone who is not really the most advanced user. In today's day and age, it has often become the norm to no longer install programs to check your emails anymore, but rather just use a web browser to view or send emails. This does have the advantage that you don't need to update anything, bother with setting up the connection, which can be quite finicky on occasion, but it also means that you often cannot integrate it that well into programs or the operating system. Let's change that, shall we? If you are using a Chromium based browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave and similar, or use the PWA extension for Firefox, most online email providers do offer the installation of a so called progressive web app, which often comes with a so called handler, which offers more advanced integration. What this means is that when you want to send a file or document directly via email, then this handler should automatically open up a new email template of your preferred email service. On other desktop environments this sometimes works, but it's not really a guarantee, since sometimes the application might not register correctly in the operating system. Cinnamon however offers us the ability to set the web browser which we use to install the progressive web app via the settings app, which means that we can make the email handler be recognized by the operating system as well. 
while this can be done on other desktop environments as well, not all of them are as easy as Cinnamon handles it. One feature that might come in handy if your device is a touchscreen or just simply a touchpad are gestures. Gestures allow you, given that your hardware is compatible with it, to bind the use of several fingers to different actions of the desktop environment. I'm for example a big fan of switching workspaces by dragging three fingers, like it's being done on GNOME, but you can also choose a different action from a huge set of additional options. One of them again being the ability to execute a command, like I've shown earlier during the Hot Corners introduction. Gestures make Linux Mint an incredibly powerful operating system for touchscreen devices, even though it still uses the old X11 display protocol by default, which does have some issues given its age. And while it doesn't feel as smooth and dynamic as it could be with Wayland, it still works really well. The last tip I want to give you is just a generic one. Customize its icons, fonts and overall looks to your liking. What seems like a chore for many, if you manage to find out exactly what you like, from looks to functionalities down to the menu detail, you will experience a workflow and efficiency which you never thought possible. Switching to Linux, even if I don't use Cinnamon, has resulted in an overall improved computer experience for me personally. I've never experienced any crashes or unusual behavior in years by now. Sure, it did take some time to figure out what I liked, since I didn't just want another Windows. But it was worth it, and all of the headaches that I initially experienced were ironed out over the incredible past three years of development. Just give it a shot and don't be afraid to customize it, because if you manage to find out what you like, then your experience using a computer will never be the same as before. And that's where I'll leave it. So what did you think of these tips and tricks? Was there anything here that you didn't know yet? Is Linux Mint or just Cinnamon something that you would consider using yourself? Please let us know down in the comments. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel, make even better videos, then please make sure to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future Linux videos. Thank you so much for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.